Hi, I'm Miss Rachel from George Memorial Library in Richmond, and in this after school break, we're going to be making tissue paper flowers and a vase from a water bottle. Hope you enjoy the video. For this project, you're going to need some pipe cleaners, tissue paper of different colors, cut, these are cut roughly into squares, you can cut them into rectangles or strips, a container with some water, plastic water bottle, some glue. Uh, a paintbrush, whatever kind you'd like, a pair of scissors, a stapler, and tissue paper cut into four by eight rectangles. And you'll need five pieces of tissue paper for each flower. So what we're gonna do is decorate the bottle first. So let me clear this off. I'm laying out my different colored pieces of tissue paper so they're ready for the next step and these were cut in roughly one inch by one inch squares. I'm going to mix about equal parts glue and water. So the first thing is you're going to put a layer of glue where you want the first layer to go. Put down your first set of tissue paper. come to the end of where I put the glue down so I'm going to put another coat over the pieces I just placed hopefully and continue um, putting the next layer of glue up well, it looks like I'll have to come back and put glue over top once it dries Okay, so after we've gone through that, the next step is to see if we can put another layer of Maja Fudge over the top. And this is where it's important to make sure you don't get too much so it doesn't make all your colors run. You can see mine's starting to. you just let that dry. So the next step is to make our actual flowers. For each flower you're going to need five pieces of tissue paper that are cut roughly four inches by eight inches. It doesn't have to be perfect but what you do is you stack them all together and then you fold them like a fan back and forth. The next step gets a little tricky. You're going to need your stapler and a pipe cleaner. What you're gonna do is staple the pipe cleaner in the middle of your uh, folded tissue paper to make a stem. And it's better to try and get it on an angle. There we go. So it looks like that. That's not perfectly in the center, but it'll be okay. Then you get to pick what shape you're gonna cut on the edge of your tissue paper. So there are three choices. You can cut a rounded edge, 
cut strips or cut a triangle. Um, if you want the rounded edge, it will look like this. The different strips look like this. And the triangle ones look like this. For this one, I'm going to try cutting the rounded edges. So, get my scissors. And you can trace it if you want, but I'm just going to try and freehand it. And the last step, which is the most time consuming, is to open the folds like that. And then fluff up each layer of tissue paper. Uh, go slowly because it's really easy to rip these. But then again, if it rips, it doesn't really matter. So you just go around layer by layer. Thank you for watching our video on how to make tissue paper flowers and a vase. If you come back in two weeks, there'll be a new video from Ms. Jamisha at Needville about magic scrap paper. Hope to see you then.